Hi, partners. Today, I'm excited to announce that the Partner Masters has created a brand new partner portal for all Microsoft partners to manage your alliance and your relationship with Microsoft. Our ultimate goal, our mission is to empower Microsoft partners to achieve maximum profitability with their Microsoft partnership. And this new partner portal is going to help us do exactly that. Let me give you a quick tour. I'll share my screen here, take you into the portal. And what I'll first show you is when you first log into the portal, you'll have access to many things. One of my favorite things here is what we call our TPM University. So I'll highlight just a few things. You can come check it out on your own. Uh, but if you just start with Partnering 101, uh, here is an area where you can come in and you can have different sessions on things like Microsoft 101. What is it like to work at Microsoft and work with partners? Who are the different teams at Microsoft? Why does Microsoft care about partners? We go into different ways to do customer association. So whether that is using CPOR or Claiming Partner of Record or PAL, Partner Admin Link for Azure, we show you how to do all those things. How do you drive usage with the different reports that Microsoft makes available for, for you with Partner Center? How do you achieve the different solution designations and specialization, so forth and so on? Tons of information here. This is the first place I'd recommend for you to get started. You can also look at things like the Copilot Briefing Program. The Copilot Briefing Program, Microsoft will pay you up to $1,500 for delivering a Copilot Briefing for up to three or at least three customers, one person from each customer with at least one user. So it can be SMB all the way up to 3,000 total users. But we've now outlined exactly how you can take advantage of this program. So if you're not in this program, this is another great place for you to start. Uh, we've got information on here, how much are the incentives, how do you get into the program, and even we've had these uh, professionally done videos to show you step by step how you can prepare for a CSP briefing, how you can get your team ramped up, uh, how you can use the go to market tools to go get new customers and so forth and so on. Another big request that we get is I can't figure out what all of those acronyms are that Microsoft uses. So now we've built in uh, internally at Microsoft, we had a glossary, you could look all these things up, but partners have never really had an easy way to see what are all these Microsoft acronyms. Well, now you have a place where you can come in and you can look up all the different acronyms. You can search on the top to make it easy for yourself. It's all built in here into the tool. Uh, additionally, uh, we do have uh, forums available so you can connect with other partners. Uh, you can you can come in and you can ask questions. You can get support directly from our team at the Partner Masters or from other partners who are in our programs as well. But let me show you where things get really interesting. And that's where we actually have connected and created Power BI reports for you to leverage with your partner center data. So the reports piece is an add-on. So if you'd like to come in and you'd like to understand how you can leverage uh, the different reports and, and actually add into your portfolio new opportunities and so forth, here you can see where we have customers who are spending, this is dummy data, but uh, in this particular case, customers spending on $111,000 a month. Uh, Microsoft says that, hey, with all the Azure spend that you have, about 8% should be on security. Well, here we can see that this customer is only spending $149 a month on security. So there's a massive gap to the 8%. So we need to go talk to these customers. In fact, all of these customers have opportunities for you to go back and talk about security. If we click on any one of these, we can also see over here on the on the right hand side, exactly how much they're spending on the different service groups. Uh, Microsoft will lay it out for you, infrastructure, analytics, databases. So we can see that this customer is not spending much on security, has analytics, they have databases, they need to secure this type of data. Uh, we can also see in here from the Azure reports, exactly how much is a part, or should a partner receive for their backend CSP rebates. So in this particular case, the partner is doing about $400,000 a month in, in ACR. Well, with their backend rebates for uh, their accelerators and uh, the 4% the, the rebate for having a solution designation, they should be receiving about $6,653 uh, in those backend rebates. If you're not a solution designation partner, you don't receive it, now you can see easily how much that can convert into for you. Uh, we also have reports to show. We have a lot of partners who talk about that the Solution designation reports sometimes are hard to follow. It's hard to see exactly who in the organization has taken different certifications and so forth. And so we've tried to make this a little bit easier for you here. So within the infra, as I use this as an example, you can see here, uh, we actually can include the names of the people who've taken different exams. And on the top up here, you can get an idea. So you can see in this particular 
Uh, example, we've got 72 points for infrastructure. 12 of those points have come from skilling. On the blue, we can see, well, we can theoretically make an example. So if I come over here to the filters, I can see, well, what happens if Alice is no longer with the company? Well, if Alice is no longer with the company, my points go to zero and I'm no longer eligible to re-enroll for the infrastructure solution designation. So I can come in here and I can find out, well, what is it that it, Alice has this would be preventing me. Well, Alice has the AZ-104 exam, which is a prerequisite for me to get all of those other points. So I need to make sure that somebody else on my team also has this in case Alice is no longer associated to the company. Uh, I can also come in here and I can look at the, the different ones, like say Modern Work with, with SMB, and I can see again, who are the people who have the, the skilling. Uh, I can see I'm at 51 points. I can see I'm getting those points um, through uh, the skilling, I'm also getting some of the points from, from doing my uh, uh, customer ads and so forth. Another big thing that we've seen with partners <clears throat> is the people who are certified, well, when they, they have exams, those exams have to be renewed every year. You have to go and take an online assessment every year to keep those, uh, those exams current. So what we've built in here is a way for you to monitor all the people and the exams that are coming up. What happens is these exams are owned by the individuals and those renewal notices are going to their personal email addresses, which are not always managed that well. Now we have built-in reporting to show you so you can keep on top of it that, hey, these people have exams that are coming up that are uh, going to expire soon. So let's reach out to Alice and make sure, but well, we already saw that uh, Alice had some, some big exams that were important for us. We wanna make sure that her exams are not missed. So uh, another way that we can use these types of uh, data. We have different reporting from Microsoft 365 um, and EMS. So you can come in here and you can see, well, which solution workloads are you associated with and which ones are the customer using and not using? So if we come in here and we look at, uh, just get some examples here, we can see that this particular customer, uh, they've got some licensing. So if we take like Teams meetings, They've only got 419 users out of the 3,300 that are licensed. Why are they not using Teams meetings? Let's go talk to them. Or maybe they're using Zoom and there's other opportunities here. Uh, we can go down and we can look at other uh, use cases here. We can see that uh, we've got uh, CPOR or we've got other ways of recognizing. Here's another one with uh, other opportunities within Teams. Uh, we can look at also the EMS report, which is very similar. So this is more on the security side. And then we can see, well, what are the customers using and where are our opportunities? So we're trying to give you more data to show exactly like who are the customers where there is immediate opportunity in your portfolio. So if we look through here, we can see some things like uh, this particular customer, Defender for Endpoint, they own 40,000 licenses, but they're only using 184. There's a massive opportunity. Same with Intune. So there's a lot of opportunity left. 5,000 out of 40,000 are, are licensed. If we look at some of the smaller accounts down here, uh, still can kind of see the same things. Uh, in this case, there's, some of these customers are actually licensed for more than, or they're actually using more than they're licensed for. So there might be something that we should go investigate there. Additionally, we do have uh, new support options. So here, if you want to come in here and you want to look for something like Copilot Studio, uh, you can just search directly from the knowledge articles that we use internally. Uh, to help our team support Microsoft partners, you now have access to all the different knowledge articles that we've written for our team to support your own business. Now, if you can't find what you need here, you can come in and open a new case and our team will be there to help support it. Uh, but there's a lot of new things that we will be developing over time, but this is our free partner portal for you. Please come in and take, it, take advantage of it. Uh, if you are interested in it, I will leave a link uh, for you to go in and request access and we will give you your free access and our team will walk you through the portal one-on-one -on -one to show you all the different things that you can do and if there's additional services that TPM can help you with. Again, our mission is to help you achieve maximum profitability with your Microsoft partnership. This is just one step that we're taking to help achieve that mission. Thank you very much and I look forward to servicing you with our new portal.